John Mechanic is a force of nature. He has clearly the best real estate practice in New York City. No question about that. He keeps an incredible number of lawyers busy. I've done a number of deals with John. I guess many people consider us to be two of the leading real estate lawyers in New York. So given the size of and breadth of our presence in New York, we deal with each other all the time. Jonathan Mechanic is, is also one of the renowned real estate lawyers uh, in New York City and nationally. He's great. I like it when he's on the other side. He's very smart, raises all the right issues, uh, gets to closing. Uh, and whenever I find that he's on the other side of a deal, I know it's going to be fun. Uh, it's, he's a pleasure to work with. Uh, we're involved in many, many transactions together, so I know he's uh, extremely knowledgeable and a uh, you know, highly respected professional, and I'd say our track record is he and I always get things done. Jonathan Mechanic uh, did a real estate deal for me back when I was at the Brennan Center, uh, and what struck me about him was I, I knew he was a really big name who did really complex deals with mezzanine finance. But the attention that he paid to this, what for him must have been this dinky little deal for a little nonprofit, was just so heartwarming to me. I, I really felt as a client like he cared as much about me as he did about the billion dollar deal. I started uh, liking real estate when I was 10 years old. When I was 10 years old, my father, who was a dentist of all things, um, decided he would dabble in real estate. So he bought a uh, uh, ShopRite that was defunct and he decided he was gonna turn it into an office building. So he put up his sign with his rendering of his office building and one day a guy calls him from the sign and asks if he can come over and he comes over and they chit chat and he says, well, do you think you can really have this building done in 12 months? Says, Absolutely, I mean, got the architect, I'm ready to go. When I make commitments, I honor my commitments. Um, that gentleman ended up to be the uh, the head of Real Estate 5 EM. I, I, I graduated law school, I went to NYU. I'm a big NYU supporter. I'm on the board of trustees today of the law school. I clerked for a year in the Southern District for a judge uh, who had been the uh, general counsel for the NAACP and had argued Brown v. Board of Education together with Thurgood Marshall. So that was an unbelievable experience. Uh, I then came to Fried Frank to litigate um, but I thought I would, because of family background in real estate, I figured I should maybe spend a little time and get to know a little bit. And I found a mentor, uh, a gentleman by the name of Hal Rosen, who would ultimately become the head of the department. And he seemed to think I had a pension for this kind of thing. So as I was about to rotate into the litigation group, he walked me down to this space, to One New York Plaza, and we were, we were in 120 Broadway. And he walked me over to the side of the building overlooking the Statue of Liberty, and he said, you know, I don't really want to influence you. I mean, you should do the right thing for you, but you could be in the real estate department. You could be working with me. You could be working on projects like building that building across the street um, where they were talking about building uh, South Ferry Plaza. Um, you could be looking at the statue all the time. You could, you know, do, you know, be part of things that are in the newspapers all the time. But you don't have to do that. He said, on the other hand, you could be the 21st person on some tender offer litigation doing document review in Des Moines, Iowa. Now, some people like that. Uh, so it took about 30 seconds for me to decide that maybe real estate was really where I belonged. And it seems to have worked out.